Hey guys, Joe here, back to the Word. Today talking about a jealous God, warring passions, more grace. And I'm super excited about this lesson. We're going to hop into James chapter 4. Here's what it says. James chapter 4, verse 4. It says, you adulterous people. Whoa! We like pause right there. What is James saying? But context-wise, we roll back a few verses. James, for the first three verses of chapter 4, is telling us about this war that we fight on a daily basis as Christians. I fight it, and I'm sure you do as well if you're a follower of Jesus, is that we fight this sin and selfish desire to do what we want. That sin is never satisfied. We always want more for ourselves, more, more, more. And he says, you ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly to spend it on your passions. You adulterous people, do you not know that the friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. We're talking in James about simple faith. That saving faith in Jesus. And he's saying right here, if we have saving faith that's placed in the Lord, we can no longer be friends with the world. We can no longer be cuddled up super close to the things of the world, enjoying those things, and still be a follower of Jesus. Do we love people who are in the world? Do we connect with them? Yes. But he's saying here is we can't serve the things of the world. He says, or do you suppose it is to no purpose that the scripture says he, this is God we're talking about, yearns jealously over the spirit that he has made to dwell in us. This is a beautiful thing. James doesn't quote an exact passage of scripture. This is a consensus, a kind of thematic telling of the whole theme of the Old Testament that God yearns jealously over the spirit that he has placed in you and me. He created us and he's not just going to be settled or okay with part of us. He wants all of us. He wants our whole heart, not just part of it, not just part of my schedule. He wants all of us, our whole heart, because he created and he made me and he made you. And he knows that the best thing for us is for us to follow him with all that we are. He says, he yearns jealously over the spirit that he has made to dwell in us. Six, but he gives more grace. That is a beautiful part of this verse in this section. Because it is telling us that you and I will die. We will die in this battle. We will fight this battle to the end and it won't go well. But he gives more grace. You and I will fail, but God gives more grace. He longs for us. So my challenge for you today, as we fight this battle, this passions, this following after the flesh, but also the desire to be wholly devoted to God, to remember that he gives more grace as we go after him. God bless. See you guys soon.